Welcome. What we're going to do now is talk a little bit about hypoxia in STAN and, and show, uh, show you a couple of very easy, uh, quick ways to initiate hypoxia in the uh, human patient simulator. So as you can see now, Stan has uh, just started up and he's uh, healthy. He's breathing in about 14 a minute with a spontaneous uh, uh, ventilatory rate of about 800 mils. And his SpO2 is 98% and the heart rate is 75. So in, in every way, he's very, very healthy. And uh, we're going to show you a very quick way to change that quickly. So what we're going to do is we're going to move over to the respiratory tab. Click on respiratory. And on the drop-down menu, we're going to uh, check a respiratory control. And there's a couple of very, very easy ways to make Stan hypoxic uh, using this menu. And the one is uh, oxygen consumption, O2 consumption, and the other way is shunt fraction. So uh, remembering that we had a healthy guy a few seconds ago, let's uh, mess with his shunt fraction and see what happens. So shunt fraction right now is 0 0.02, and I'm going to move it up to uh, 0.36, and I'm going to click set, and you'll note that you can set this to occur immediately, that's what's happened now, or you can set it to occur over several minutes or several seconds. So let's see what effect we're having on poor Stan. So as you can see, his uh, ventilatory rate has gone up to compensate, his res respiration rate has gone up. Uh, and his SpO2 is dropping already. It's now at 95%. So what will happen at this point is his uh, O2 sat will continue to drop until one of a couple of things happens. If it's the uh, human patient simulator uh, with the uh, sort of more sophisticated uh, software and sensors, and if someone puts oxygen on him, uh, he, he will actually improve his SAT uh, in a uh, physiological fashion. So there's sensors in the mannequin that will do that. Um, if it's the ECS model, uh, then what will happen is if a student applies some oxygen, whoever's operating will have to try and figure out uh, if it's the right appliance and then make adjustments appropriately. So he's, his SAT will continue to drop. The other thing that can happen to him is he may go into cardiac arrest on his own, but that won't happen until his SAT gets quite low. Uh, if we wanted to crash his SAT even further or even more quickly, we could move to oxygen consumption. Right now it's set at 200 mils a minute, and I'm going to increase it quite dramatically. You probably don't have to increase it all that dramatically. And just for fun, I'm going to set it to increase over 10 seconds. Um, anyway, so we'll set that. And it's increasing uh, very, very quickly, as you can see. And what will happen now is uh, Stan's uh, oxygen saturation will begin to fall even more dramatically. Um, as I mentioned, if his uh, SAT falls too much, he may go into cardiac arrest. And that may be desirable uh, in the scenario you have, or it may be undesirable in the scenario you have. So I'm going to click on the cardiovascular tab. And I'm going to go down to the heart drop down. And in cardiac rhythm override, uh, I'm going to choose sinus. So now that he's in sinus uh, rhythm, no matter how low his SAT goes, he will not go into cardiac arrest no matter what. So these are just a couple of quick ways that uh, you can make Stan hypoxic.